What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a lot going on for the Tacoma. There's some changes that I'm doing on the outside as you'll see in today's video. Of course, for the month of February, we are doing our GoPro giveaway. All you have to do to be eligible to win the GoPro is be a subscriber to the channel and comment on videos. We're gonna pick the video with the most comments at the end of February and pick a random winner from that video. Also, huge news, we're doing a grill giveaway for a third gen Tacoma owner from Bulletproof Fabricating. As you can see, I have a new grill for the truck which we'll be installing later in today's video. Also, if you're interested in this grill, send me a message on Instagram. All you have to do to be eligible to win the grill is follow BPF on Instagram. I'll have that link in the description below. Be a subscriber to the channel and also comment on this video. Let me know what third gen Tacoma you have and in one week from today's video, I'll pick a winner and we will be sending out a new grill to one of you third gen owners. All of BPF's information will be down in the description below as well. well. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Brian and I have already spent about five or six hours doing the driver's side. So the first thing that we're doing on the truck, if you guys remember a while back, I installed new fender flares. Those are going back on the truck today. The issue that I had with these, they weren't even on the truck that long and they were starting to dig into the paint. So that obviously that's something I didn't want. These are about an inch taller. So what I need to do is go ahead and fully install these. And then my solution to fixing this problem is this half inch roll of clear PPF. I think it's 20 or 30 feet long. I'll have that in the description below. All right, so with the new one fully installed, basically what we're gonna do is just take some tape. And since this fender is about an inch higher than the other one, that's why we have to fully install it first. And this is gonna be our line, or our template I should say, for the PPF. So when we take it off, we'll have it in the exact position so there's not a lot of overhang on the blue. So you can see that is going to be our outline for the PPF. We're gonna to try to do it in one piece, but it may be multiple pieces. Not really concerned, because you won't see it, obviously. It's, it stretches very well. Yeah. You don't even have to use any heat or anything, which is nice. I am alright There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the... That is the new fender flare installed. As you can see, there's a little bit of the PPF showing. It's not really something I can see if I step back a little bit. Uh, but that's an inexpensive way to now protect the paint. So I can leave these on. I'm glad I had the stock ones. I rocked them for a couple weeks until I was able to do this project. So that is one fender flare down. Now we're moving on to underneath these side mirrors here. And where's that? Right there for you. Edge? Okay, so I got these off of Amazon as well. I'll have these down in the description below. I got this badge. It's supposed to kind of mimic the TRD Pro badge with TRD Off-Road. I thought this was a pretty sweet thing to do. So obviously I'm taking Tacoma off and this is gonna be somewhat up here. And then I am taking this off as well. This was kind of just a placeholder. I never really liked it there. The easy part is out of the way now, just ripping off the vinyl and the emblem. I did use a credit card. If you had fishing line, probably a little bit easier. I'm just working with what I have. Uh, but now comes the fun part is removing all this adhesive. It's uh, not a fun process to do. I'm just gonna be using a lot of goo gone and a rag. Two important things when doing adhesive removal. The first is make sure it's a very warm day out. When I did the other side, it was much colder, which is why it took a lot longer. I think I've only been at this about 15 minutes so far. Second thing is I am using a rag to get off all of that adhesive. It's gonna leave little micro scratches in the paint. So that is why the next step is to buff it. I'm gonna buff this entire area because you can also see Tacoma still in the paint. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up or not, but that is what the buffer is gonna do, help eliminate that along with any scratches I may have put in the paint. All right, so now it's time to put on the TRD off-road badge. We just took measurements from the other side. So that way we can have it pretty much in line. Oh, you know what? This line is gonna be a little off because the door oh. goes the other way. Well, these ones are easy. I just made a line where the body line is. So it's about one inch down and two inches from this edge. That's how the TRD Pro is. So obviously we're gonna mimic that. So this is the upside down piece? Yeah, so now get a flat edge and we'll mimic it to this edge. So we're going like right here. Right side, maybe a hair up. Right there. So that completes, uh, I guess, step two. Removing all that and getting the new logo. Now it's onto the bed, and if you want to zoom in on this, Bri, this is some off-road damage, which luckily protected the, the paint really nicely. But you can see these lines here. This is from the previous fender flare. 
Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical after working for about two hours, we finally got all the adhesive off of the TRD 4x4 off-road sticker. The differences between that being a sticker and the emblem having the actual like 3M adhesive on it is a huge difference. So again, it took about two hours. Uh, definitely a pain in the butt, but we finally got it off. Brian's working on doing a final rinse down and clean before we can start on the vinyl. While Brian's finishing up there, I took a picture on my phone of the other side with the knifeless tape here. I'm not sure if the camera screen can see that or not, but this is the design that we're going with and it looks really awesome so far, so I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah. But, but while Bryce finishing up there, this will help us with our measurements. Oh, it should be a squeaky clean surface for vinyl. <laughs> yeah. We used the uh, waterless wash to get the buffing compound off, but that stuff makes it to our vinyl wouldn't stick, so. Soapy yeah. water solution to clean it, and then just to dry it off. Got the hard work out of the way, and now we're going to start on the front two stripes. Oh, hopefully, this piece can at least get us one or two. This is just some scrap that I had left over, so we can do both stripes with that. Perfect. So we'll do this whole piece then. Okay. We'll just lay down the entire thing. Well, we've triple, quadruple measured. Yeah. And, and any, uh, anything that isn't perfect, I mean, <laughs> you're splitting hairs at this point where it's just not going to make that much of a difference. You got enough? Yeah. Good. That's enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So that's the first two stripes. Tell me how much you need. I'm good here. Is that good there? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is fine. We've been longing to escape, and here we are. Driving narrow streets in a rusty car. Leading to the sea, think we're getting close. We should take a pick, baby, strike a pose. Oh. So the last thing we are doing is tying in the rear here to do the tailgate. We are literally one foot short of knifeless tape. This whole project, we have like just barely made it. So what I did, I don't know if the camera can pick up on it, but I lined up where the knifeless tape is and I put a first piece of vinyl and I made that level with the top of the actual green portion and that in line with the actual string, another piece of vinyl. And the experience we learned when we wrapped our cars doing piece by piece overlapping, I know I can safely cut on the car and I will not cut through the second piece of vinyl and not damage the paint, but make a perfect line to where this is blacked out. So those wraps have <laughs> come in handy, so we've learned a lot. So this basically just a nice black trim piece. And real quick, all right, there we go. Blacked out stripe on the top, you can get a good look. Now, that uh, definitely looks pretty cool. Next up, we're gonna unbox yep. the sweet new grill, the final touch. Just look at this one last one. look. That definitely was looking super clean. And we'll, guys, we'll show you a full look in just a second. So now the BPF grill, and this is actually your third BPF grill. It is, yeah. I had one on my red Tacoma, this one here, and now this is the third one. I'll have all their info in the description below. They definitely have a lot of grills to choose from. Oh, you're already getting a sneak peek. <laughs> so this is the newest generation one. Yeah. So this grill, you can get it with or without the front sensor. I don't have the front sensors being a 17, but if you have an 18, you can definitely get this and it'll work with that setup. So this grill Sweet. is just a little bit different. You can see I don't have the letters anymore. It's all metal. It has a really cool design in it. So you see it's just a little bit different. I think it's going to look really cool. So let's go ahead and get it on. And there's the new BPF grill. Definitely looks sick. The truck has a whole new look to it. So let's go ahead and get a closer look.
Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the brand new look on the truck. Once again, we have the Bulletproof Fabricating giveaway. Comment on this video, what third gen Tacoma you have in one week from today's video, I'm gonna pick a winner. So definitely check them out. I'll have their link down below. Definitely gives it a really cool look, a lot different than the grill that I had. We have the new fender flares on the truck, which I'm excited to do, along with the TRD off-road badge. I think that just looks so much cooler than the original badge that was on it. And then of course, the brand new vinyl look in the back. We'll go ahead and take another look. Actually, we didn't take a look yet at the uh, final strip on the top there. Brian did a good job finishing off by hand. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of that. I'm really so proud of that. <laughs> definitely looks really cool. I wasn't really a fan of the other vinyl. I know there's been a lot of comments of the vinyl in general, uh, but I think this really, this, yeah. is the, this is the best wrap that we have so far on the truck. And it looks awesome. So thanks to Brian because uh, we both worked on this about 10 to 12 hours. It was a lot of work just to <laughs> change this. Vinyl takes a lot of patience. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, huge shout out to Bulletproof Fabricating. I'll have all of their information in the description below. If you guys enjoyed today's video and the new look on the Tacoma, give it a huge thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.